Hey. I'm here with an intended parent, and yes. we're checking out his ultrasound today. You wanna hold it? So you don't need to share us your name or anything, but uh, what is this ultrasound from? So this is the egg butter. So this is the egg weight, and uh, I'm super happy to to be here today and. Uh, and to have done this ultrasound today with my surrogate, it's been amazing, it's been really emotional. So what week is this, this ultrasound? Eight. Eight weeks. Eight weeks, We've got yes. 32 more weeks to go usually. Yeah. Okay. So where are you from? Tell us about where you're from. I'm from Barcelona. 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 Okay. Okay. So um, are you by yourself here or where's your wife or anything um, like that? My wife is... I'm on my own. Okay. So you're <laughs> a single intended parent. Single intended parent. Yeah. Awesome. I'm also a single intended parent. So how does that, um, how does that play in, in your experience here? Was it, is it something that you feel that you're ready for or... Was most of the IPs I think I've been for so long into this journey already like five years mm -hmm. and I cannot say I'm not ready, I'm probably not ready, who's ready, who's ready? to be a father and mother but I'm uh, yeah I'm super excited, I'm only super happy and uh, so can you tell us a little bit why you want to be a dad? I mean you're also alone. I mean, who else could be crazy like that? Like me to do that. Yeah. Okay, I always wanted to have a family and uh, I think it's uh, one of the most beautiful things you can do in your life. Just help a little baby to grow and uh, so that they can do their life in the future, right? So help them in every step, at least at the beginning. I, I find that super exciting. The mentorship that you can get. Mentorship, yeah, and love. It's just like loving a human being. And, uh, Teaching them how to. Uh, and families come in all types. Like it could be single parent by choice, it could be a couple, it could be yeah. blended families. And that's what we love at Proud Fertility. So um, tell me how you felt when you looked at the ultrasound with your surrogate, obviously. Yeah. At eight weeks. So <laughs> it's pretty small. It's pretty small. I saw the picture of the ultrasound two weeks ago. It was just like a little spot there. And uh, now it's so big compared to the six way. I don't it's know. Like this thing. Yeah, well, maybe the picture is bigger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you can see that this is sturdy. And uh, I was super excited. Uh, super excited and emotional. Yeah. So we're now in a city in Alberta. So Calgary. we're not in Spain. We're not so in Spain. like their surrogate came. You came and visited your surrogate for an eight week ultrasound. Exactly. Awesome. I think that's something very like. I wanted to be close mm -hmm. to a baby. And obviously, being with a surrogate is an exceptional person. And, uh, and that goes against yeah. everything. Like sometimes surrogates who come to me, they think they don't want to help someone who's single because they don't think they don't actually hear the voice yeah. of you, other than myself. That we can make great parents too, but also an intended parent like yourself, so far away, would love to participate in meetings like this. Some surrogate, some surrogate, some intended parents can come at eight weeks. Will you come back for another ultrasound in the future, or just at the end? I would love to come for the twelfth week and the twentieth week. At least, yeah, uh, this is something I really want to do, yeah. Maybe I will change the date, but I definitely come in at least three times for the good wow. results, for sure. A dedication. Yeah. Well, you have a very, you're very, very lucky, as I know who your surrogate is. And yeah, is there anything else you want to share to anybody out there, our viewers, whether it's a surrogate, potential surrogate, or potential intended parent, just looking at your journey, you've come so far. This is an amazing milestone of eight weeks. Like, is there anything else you'd like to share? I would say for IPs, if you're thinking that, like, if you want to go, you want to go through this journey, just start, just ask questions. Contact uh, people, it's in, it's in their journey maybe. Talk to Nathan. I mean, it's been super helpful talking to you since the beginning. We've been talking for a long time and I got a lot of help. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, very long. <laughs> a long time. But I got all the information and everything I needed. Mm -hmm. And uh, if, you, um, if you're thinking about becoming a surrogate, uh, why not just do some research? Do something you can do for a period during your life. And, uh, Seriously, I think this is the greatest gift I could ever receive. And not myself, like the it's baby. It's such a big gift that you can never really. My whole family. 
Like, he is so grateful. That's a great it's, thing, yeah. It's, it's not good. just you. It's, it's not my... just me, it's my parents, they are so happy. And uh, my cousins, uh, all the family, all my friends, they are super happy <laughs> and grateful. And uh, so if you're thinking about that, just give you a chance just to know how it works. And, uh, maybe, and it might not maybe, be for you, and it also might be for you. Yeah, exactly. Same as for intended parents, like, you know, whether you want to have a child single or not single, or it's just, it might not be for you. I talked yeah. to um, this intended parent quite a long time, um, and it finally was an option for you. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this insight, and we celebrate with you on your milestone of achieving eight weeks. Yeah, we'll see you soon you. again. Make sure you give us updates <laughs> on fertility. Surrogacy in Canada. Take care. Very sure. Yeah.